Sir, can you see my screen? Mm, just sharing. Okay. Yeah, uh, sharing. Okay, sir. Yes. So, welcome to the second day beginner's course on Google Earth Engine. So, I am tutor in this course and this is our second day training program. So this course content today, I will try to finish this course called content, filtering and visualizing satellite images in Google Earth Engine. Then analyze of the global precipitation measurement, three hour data set using the Google Earth Engine and NDWI calculate from MODIS and Landsat data and then computation using satellite images. In this particular case, we will see how you can calculate the NDWI or NDVI from the different types of satellite image, such as uh, Landsat image, Sentinel images. Then how to export these images in TIP format. Basically, when you need to use this TIP image in your ArcMap or QGIS, then you need to export these images in TIP format and you can easily use this uh, TIP format image in your uh, other software, thus ArcMap or QGIS software easily. And we can also introduction to land cover classification map and we also create a final project for this land cover classification map using the Google Earth Engine. So what's the process to make the land cover classification map in Google Earth Engine? And this process is, you can use the any images. It will be Landsat image or Sentinel image. You can apply this procedure, all of these images. This is the same procedure for all of this, okay? So first you need to selecting your region of interest. So first of all, you need to select your specific region of interest. So then you need to choosing and filtering your image collection. Image, your image collection can be Landsat image or Sentinel image, okay? You can choosing and filtering this image collection. And I already show you how you can filter in your image collection for a specific region, okay? So then collecting yes. the training point. So what's the urban, what's the vegetation, what's the water body and what's the, and what's the feature? You want to collect that some training point from these images. And for you need to merging the training point. You need to merge the, all of this training point together, merging the training cover together. Then you make a training data set. When you merging your training point, then you need to make a training data set using the sample regions. Okay. Then the create the classifier and the classify the image. In Google Earth Engine, we can see the different types of classifier will be available. So we can, we'll discuss the further more. Then create the classified images. Then display the result in your map interactive view and print the confusion metrics for accuracy assessment of your map. So you can see this is the simple, a small project of Google Earth Engine. And you can see here the classification result, uh, you can see the classification water body, build up area, vegetation and bare land. So this is the code link of this project. So I go to this code link and define and, and discuss all of this and discuss all of this background code of this project. So I simply open here this link copy and simply use this link for go to this code editor so it will appear it So basically in this case here, I use the Landsat 8 uh, image collection. Landsat 8 one tier two reflectance image collection. This project will be loading here, you can see.
so in this case so first of all you need to import your image collection suppose you can see here i import my image collection this image collection is landsat 8 one collection uh, i simply import this image collection and change this variable name l8 okay so then i select uh, my region of interest this is my shape file okay it will my shape file so this is my shape file this shape file i already import the asset and i simply import this uh, asset in my code editor okay so then you can see here i filter my image collection okay i filter my image collection and i already di discussed about this how you can filter this image collection and then you can see here i define this uh, image collection image this is my object name image then i use here the a object um, curly brackets and define a list of my bands you can see here these bands this is the bands i need this band for b4 b3 and b2 this is the true color composite and i define this here the layer name true color layer name you can see here this is the true color composite okay you can see this images so if you want you yeah, you easily click to here and increase this image stretch this image collection for that it, you can easily understand this images okay so i simply click to apply so now you can see this image will be more interactive and you can easily understand all of these things so now our first two step will be done first step selecting our ry and second step choosing and filtering our data set or image satellite images so we already done it okay so then second uh, third process is that you need to collecting some training point so how we can collect the training point okay so you can see you can use this training point from this you can simply click to here you can get the add a marker or or define use the rectangle for collecting the different types of training point using your satellite images here so when you click to here you can see here click to here you can click to here a new layer will be added here you can see uh, sorry you can see you, you can see here i already collect some uh, when i click to here there the geometry import will be added here you can see here here i defined the some the t water t urban t vegetation t wireland so i defined here the four classes okay so i defined the four classes and get the training point uh, the four classes suppose you can see there this is the water body i zoom you can see so this is the water body you can see this is the water body this is the t urban and this is the vegetation and this is the bare land so i select my specific uh, classes t water t vegetation and t using the marker okay i use here the marker position and when i click to marker then i simply click this marker and define this name so then i also simply click to here okay click to here you can must be select here the feature collection because in this case i collect from the feature from our image collection you can select here the feature collection so i simply click here the feature collection and i gap this the property name this property we need to use for the another code so i give this the property name property name is all of the same same name for all of these classes and i set for water i set for water this value is zero okay and then i collect some the water training point then we can go move to the urban so i simply click here you can see this this is the name for t urban i gave this name and i use here the feature collection and i use the same property name land cover and i set for the urban value is 1 okay then i also use here the t vegetation i use here the feature collection and use the same property and use here the for the uh, vegetation i use here the value 2 
and this is the same way for the bare land i also use as a fisher collection property land cover and value free okay and get the training point from this uh, image collection so that's why you can see here i use here the t water i t urban t visitation t bare land okay so this is my training data training data set i use i collect this training data set from my image collection okay and then we also you use here the different types of uh, validation data so i will go here the next okay so first of all we take the training data using this marker and you can see here i t water for i get the five elements uh, urban get the five elements and how many training data you can select for this is is classes you can also see here this number okay so now you can see here i ca ca complete collecting my training data so i need to merge all of this fisher collection okay so fourth step is that you need to merge all of this training data okay so for this merge into a one feature collection i gave this feature collection variable name is class names and then i simply use here the merge function okay you can see this is the merge function it merges all of this feature collection into one feature collection this variable name is class names okay so i use here the t water this is my training water data but training data it's the training data for water then i also use here the merge with the urban training data then i also use the merge uh, training with the visitation data i then i also use the merge training with the bare land data and 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 merge all of this data training data and into a one variable name this variable name is classes so now if you want to use here the print classes you can see all of this information about your training data set here you can see this is the 20 oh, two two proper 21 elements and two properties all, uh, all of this integer and feature you can see all of this information about this feature okay so now you want to get the training feature collection from this here so now you want to make a simple data set using the simple region function okay so here you can see first of all you define to use here the band names so here you can see i select this band b2 b3 b4 b5 uh, b6 and b7 i define a list and make a bands variable and this variable name is i make this variable name is bands okay so now i training a sample region function you can see here training then i use here my image variable name this is my image variable name so you can see here this is my image variable name so i get this image variable name then select my bands bands you can see here i define this bands my list of this band name so i simply use this band name here and then use the sample region function and this sample region function collecting the training data set from this training merge of this training data so this sample region collecting the training data from the merging collection of this data you can see here i use the simply sample regions then i use here make a dictionary for this i use here the curly brackets okay i use the curly brackets and define here the collection and this collection comes from the class names here you can see here i already define the merging all of this image training data into a one variable this variable name is class names so i simply use here the collection this is the keyword collection keyword so so if you want to don't know what is the sample region you can simply copy this sample region function and simply go to the docs and simply paste here you can see here all of this requirement of this uh function sample region function this region sample function region is collection then properties then scale then projection and tile scale and geometry so now you can see here this is the collection this collection is come from this the training data class names then you can see the properties and i already show you what is the properties you can see here this is the property name this property name is land cover so i simply use here the property name is land cover and scale and scale is we know that landsat 8 is scale for the 30 meter so i use here the 30 meter land is uh, scale value and i print this training data now we can get the all of this about our pre training data 
we can get the all of these properties and feature and column all of this so now we want to use here the train the classifier so classifier we can use here the different types of classifier this is the random forest classifier we can also use for the support vector machine classifier we can use the cart classifier so in this case i use here the simply use the cart classifier you can see here i use here the ee dot classifier the smile cart then i also use here the train function so you you, you can see when you start here the ee dot classifier you can see here the all of this uh, classifier available in google ads engine and this classifier use uh, use for the different way suppose if you want to use for the prediction of your land use land cover classification also you can use here the sample land cover classification so now you can use uh, i make a sample project of land use land cover so i simply use here the ee dot classifier dot smile cut you can see here this is the function hour this is the max node and mean leap of the pop, uh, population so here you can see here then i also use here the train okay so train then i defined here the feature so this feature is comes from the training data you can see here feature will be come from the training data okay and also class property this class yeah. property is the land cover so i simply use the land cover and input properties i define here the input properties is the bands okay so i you can see here i already defined the band for b2 b3 b4 b5 and b7 okay so now i want to use here the run the classification so i simply use the variable name classified then i select my image collection here then select my band names and use here the classify function classify function then i simply use this classifier object okay so i simply use the classifier object so now i want to show this result in my map of this of this view so i simply use here the map dot add layer function then this is my object name final object this is the classified i simply use the classified then you can see here the mean 0 and max 3 it means what is the mean it is so you can see here this i already defined here the mean value different types of value for every classes suppose you can see here the water for zero it will be start from the zero and we also define here the bare land it will be you can see this is the maximum result for three so you can use here the mean zero and max three and i also defined here the color for the different type of the color suppose you can see here the zero zero means water and i for water i defined the color this color code okay blue color and this the built up i defined the red color code this is the vegetation i defined the green color code and this is the bare land i defined the yellow color code okay so now when i click to run i can get this result this classification you can see this variable i also uh, use this layer name is classification so now i can when i click to run i can get my classified images you can see here this images the blue color will be indicating the water uh, red color will be indicating the urban or built up area green color will be indicating the vegetation and yellow color will be indicating the bare land okay so mainly this is the part for our making the classified images okay so now if you want to check your accuracy of these images so how you can check the accuracy of these images easily so now I will try to show you how you can easily check your accuracy and make a confusion metric using the Google Earth engine. To the study hacks, today I will discuss some course module in Google Earth engine. And if you are interested, then you can enroll this course. So first of all, you can see here the first course is the basic Google Earth engine for beginners to guide for two days course. Mainly in this course will be taken two days time. And in this course, if you have a beginner, then you can start this course. Mainly in this course, I will focus who can don't know any programming language or JavaScript or Python. And in this course, after I hope after completing this course, you can easily understand 
every fun function of Google Earth Engine easily. Okay, so mainly in this course, I you can see this is our course module. Then you can also see here the advanced Google Earth Engine for beginners to guide three days online course. So mainly in this course, I will try to sum add the advanced tutorial. You can see this is our course module. Okay. So then you can see also here the another course for water quality analysis. Mainly in this course, I will try to use the Sentinel-2 imagery and try to calculate this parameter turbidity, chlorophyll and total suspense solid. And as well as I also try to add a, you can see here the different type parameter time series animation and develop a water quality analysis app in Google Earth Engine platform. And then you can see also course the land cover classification using Google Earth Engine. So mainly in this course, I will try to make a LULC map using the Google Earth Engine, use the different types of classifier. And also you can see this is our course module. Okay. So if you are interested to enroll the any course, you can see if you are interested, just you can contact with me this email or you also contact with me this WhatsApp messenger so you can easily contact with me and you can get them for know them uh, other information then you can easily enroll this course okay so thank you for watching this video